Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, this week's fragrance review. Um, first off, I'd like to thank everybody. Uh, a lot of nice comments, messages uh, on the uh, partial collection video. Uh, when I when I get set up, I'll do it. I'll do it uh, when I get all set up here. I'll do a, I'll do a real one. Uh, but for now, that's about all I can do. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll figure it out. I got so much that if I show every little thing, whew, I'm a couple hours long just showing you stuff. So I'll figure something out. I'm going to do it by house or by something or whatever. I'll figure it out. Uh, beard's starting to come back. Don't shave at night when you're tired. It's like one in the morning. Extremely tired. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just not a, I hate, I'm a night shaver and shower. Some people are morning shaver and shower. I'm a night guy. Always have been. Uh, don't like having to do anything at all except get up, get dressed, and go to work. That's it. <laughs> uh, I am a morning person, but it takes about 15, 20 minutes for me to really get going, so... But anyway, this week's fragrance was it is uh, an inspired collection. <laughs> uh, it's my preferred fragrance. It's uh, Metropolin for men. Their version of Michael Kors for men. I couldn't find a whole lot of notes. I found some uh, uh, balsamic and aromatic and spicy and musky and herbal. And they're the accords that I could find. Uh, the only notes I could find were tobacco, patchouli, plum, and uh, they, I couldn't find the note of, let's just get into the spray, the, the, the atomizer, and then I'll get into it. Not a bad atomizer, it is what it is. Uh... What do I get from it? Anyway, let's read you what they write on the back. Because I always like them. Kind of neat. <clears throat> Radio voice. Hello. Metropolitan embodies the modern urban man's confidence in who he is and where he's going. Tan tobacco and patchouli balance boozy plum and dried fruit in a refined scent. I'm glad they said boozy plum because what do you get from this? Whew. It smells like a wine. Think of a, a dry red, fruity red, white, red, white, fruity red wine. That's a main player in this. I don't know about the authentic, but that's the main player in this. Boom. It's a fruit from the plum and the dried fruits. You get a fruity red wine vibe. Uh, somewhat sour yet juicy tart. I don't want to say sour, sour, but tart and juicy kind of wine. Um, it, 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 that's pretty much the main player. Uh, in the whole, the whole start from start to finish with this one is there's, there's that dry red fruity wine vibe I get from it. Uh, some of the tobacco comes in. I don't get a lot of patchouli. Maybe a bit mixed with the tobacco because the tobacco is kind of dry and earthy towards the base. But uh, yeah, think of the modern housewife. <laughs> At home, drinking a red wine and having a cigarette. <laughs> you know, like tobacco and wine. <laughs> you know, that's basically what you get. Uh, very boozy, but not, like I said, a heavy booze. Not not bourbon or, or whiskey or, or, or rum accord. It's a wine accord in this. A very light wine. Well, wine's light in general, so. But it's a light scent. Uh I, it, I didn't. I wore it all week, with the exception of National Fragrance Day. I wore a, a zero chrome. Just wanted to 
throw in a classic on National Fragrance Day, so I, I wore chrome. But uh, other than that, I wore it all week. Still wearing it today. Uh, yeah, the dry down is pretty much the same boozy, but with more tobacco. <laughs> Instead of dry, earthy type tobacco. Uh, so, <laughs> smoke some red wine. Modern housewife on a Saturday night. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I didn't like it. I guess didn't like it's kind of harsh. I, I, I kind of like it. It's one of those scents that I, I don't, I, I'd like it more as a, a candle, you know what I mean? Something, you know, that dry, red, fruity wine I think would work better as a candle than a scent. Uh, now, I will say I am in the minority on this one. I, uh. I was having a hard time figuring out what that scent was, so I went online. I don't normally, but I do from time to time. And I went on uh, Fragrance to go and base notes and stuff. And that's where I found out it was like a dry, you know, I was like, yeah, it is a wine. That's what it is. I knew it was alcoholic. I just couldn't put my hand on it. I was thinking gin for some reason, but no, it was a wine. Once I seen that, somebody say it, I was like, oh, that's exactly what it is, man. I, 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 I smelled a lot of wine. I'm not, I'm not a wine drinker, but when you're a broke kid, <laughs> you drink you drink what's cheap <laughs> wine in general is cheap <laughs> and it gets drunk <laughs> but uh yeah I, I i went online and a lot of people love it just love it i even had a couple compliments from a couple people uh nothing amazing like oh you smell incredible just say you smell good you know you smell nice so a uh, couple people I asked, they, they liked it. Uh, the girls seemed to really like it. Uh, even the men seemed to like it. I guess I'm in the minority because... Again, I don't want to say I don't like it. I just, I, I think I like... The scent is nice. I don't think it's a good scent as a fragrance. I think it would be a better scent as a, like I said, a candle. Uh, something like that, like a room scent. Because it's a nice scent. I just can't see me. I'll probably never wear it again. Uh, I just probably never wear it again. Oh, tap out today, guys. <laughs> UFC, I'm a fighter. <laughs> Tough guy. Uh, no, I, I, uh, I can't see me wearing it again. Uh, Longevity wasn't bad, but preferred, you know, three and a half hours or so. Projected for about an hour. Uh, projected pretty good for about a half hour, you know, an arm's length away. Um, that would be the the dried fruit, the citrus, or some citrus off the top. Of course there is, you know, with the wine and everything and, and the grape and the plum. And it, it projected pretty good off the top for about a half hour. Um, again, not unpleasant. It's just not what I'd say a fragrance should smell like. It smells more like a candle. Um, so don't beat me up, because from what I read, people love this thing. It's not a bad scent, I just can't see me wearing it as a fragrance is all. Uh, that being said, I mean, I, I catch whiffs of it every now and then, but oh, this, this doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a weird one for me to kind of give a, give, give a recommendation on, because I... Because I do like it and I don't. I, it's hard for me to describe it. I, I don't really, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, back to, like I said, longevity was three and a half. Projected for about 45 minutes to an hour. And a good arm's length out for about a half hour. Uh, then it kind of sits closer to the skin. Pretty much a skin scent. Um, I heard the authentic doesn't last that long either. So this is probably just as good. Uh People are saying, oh, it's a nice fall, winter scent. I'm not getting, maybe the authentic is darker, deeper. Maybe the patchouli comes out more or, or something. But for me, it's more of a spring, fall scent. You know, I it's not strong enough for the winter. And I just don't think it would do real good in the high heat of the summer, especially here because the summer's here. I mean, I know we complain about winter and we get winter for like fucking eight months of the year, but 
fuck you, them couple months of summer, man, we can get up to 40 degrees Celsius weather. I mean, it's it's brutal. Uh, we go to extremes here, man. <laughs> Minus 40 to 40 plus. <laughs> so I just don't. But the nice weather like we have now today, the last couple of days, been pretty good. You know, we're 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 in the pluses now. I'm in Celsius too, so people in Fahrenheit figure it out yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It lasted okay. I think I got this one at the Dollarama here. They call it the Dollarama, but it's more just a discount store. Nothing's a buck there anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got this relatively cheap. It was three fifty at the Dollarama. I picked up a couple there. They don't have a lot, but they have some every now and then. And I go in to get my uh, deodorant and stuff there because it's cheaper. And uh, I'll check, see if they got any fragrances. And they had this one there. So yeah, Dollarama. It's three fifty. Definitely worth three fifty. Uh, spring scents. Yes. Fall. Yes. I'd definitely avoid the winter. I mean, maybe, like I said, maybe the authentic's a little richer, darker. I don't know. But I don't see this doing too well in the winter. And in the summer, it just might be too... Like, smell like, you know, you ever leave a wine out on the deck or something for a day or two in the heat of the sun and you come back and you smell it? It's really, really, really vinegary sour. I, I think that's what would happen to this because of that wine accord. Very heavy wine accord in this. Very heavy. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm going to recommend it if you can get it. It's worth three fifty. It's not a bad scent. Uh, it's got it's got some nice things about it. Uh, you might enjoy it better than I did. I understand that I'm fully in the minority on 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 not loving it because a lot of people love it. People that smelled it on me liked it. Um, I, I could recommend it. Sure, why not? Anyway, that was the review from Metropolis. The dupe of. Uh, Michael Kors Vermin. See, I just got a whiff of it. It's like, man, that's not bad. <laughs> I don't, don't get it. Uh, what's next? What's next week? It's going to be an actual cologne. It's Playboy again. It's uh, Playboy New York. It looks like I'm doing the th my last three Playboys in a row. So this week and next week. Uh, so Playboy New York, that's next week, I'll be wearing that all week, I'll come back and let you know what I think of it, um, hope you're all having a good week, uh, you know, let me know what you wore on Fragrance Day, National Fragrance Day, uh, I, I'd like to know what you wore, uh, I, I I I hauled out a, a cheapie, like I said, but a, but a classic. I wanted something classic for National Fragrance Day. It's not my favorite cologne by any stretch of it, but it's classic. And I wore it a lot years ago when I was po. <laughs> not that I'm rich now, but I'm just saying when I was po po, it was still like twenty dollars a bottle. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was a zero chrome. We all know that. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, I'm off to enjoy the rest of the night. I'm just sitting here doodling, thinking about getting another tattoo. All up on this arm. Don't know. I'll come back and show you what I draw. And maybe you guys can just tell me if you think it's cool or not. All right, guys. Peace. Love. Be good to each other.